Hi everyone, it's Claire from Scrappy Nerd UK and thanks for joining my video today. So today I am scrapbooking a layout using the Doodlebug collection Hello. I did this for a challenge at a, um, it was an online cyber crop I believe and it was a sketch challenge. And so I am starting with this pink background and this is actually from a paper pack. This isn't actually from the same collection but the papers coordinate lovely so um, I've pulled out this pink paper to use. I don't often use solid cardstock backgrounds um, apart from white so when I do I do tend to add some ink splatters of some sort and white tends to be my go-to so for the white ink splatters one of my favourite ways to um, get those splatters down is to use a white Posca paint pen um, and I use the 8mm nib um, which gives a nice decent amount of splatter from that one. So I'm just working on my photos here and I have a couple of small photos um, that are about 2 by 3 I think. Um, they are, they aren't um, they aren't big, um, they're not 3 by 4 I wanted a couple of smaller ones just to go over um, the middle of my sunburst design and you'll see that come together in a minute so my background is now dry and I'm going to start layering my sunburst pieces um, first of all I just want to go ahead and distress the edges of each of these and I'm just using my um, my scissors that I keep specifically for distressing for this purpose and once I've done all of that I will lay these in a position that I am happy with um, now to get the um, this shape the same um, for all pieces um, it is very simple you don't need to um, measure and trace and, and cut them out um, so you cut a rectangle and then just um, cut that diagonally in half and I've done that for each of these pieces and these are from the these papers are from the 6 by 6 paper pad so I think I cut them to 3 by 6 and then just trim them diagonally in half and that is the um, the effect that I got so I'm just going to go ahead and start sticking these down and moving them into um, position as I go and I decide that I want to add on a little bit more dimension so I grab some um, just some kiddie craft foam which I get from um, Hobbycraft usually in the UK and I'm just going to um, stick one down and the next one I'll put up on foam just to vary the height on each of those pieces and they're all going to gather in the middle and um, it's fine because the, the photos are actually going to be covering uh, where they all meet in the middle so it looks a bit messy now but they will be covered up with the photos so I was unsure whether I was going to back the photos with any other layers. Um, I do decide to add on just one layer um, extra behind each of these photos and I just use the same pattern paper as what I've already used in the sunburst pattern and I make sure that the pink gingham one, the one that I'm just distressing at the moment, I'm going to use that on the left so it's not sat, the two patterns of the pink aren't sat on top of each other. And then just trimming off the edges of the um, the papers there. So um, next up I'm going to start um, looking at the embellishments. So you'll see here I've got quite a lot of embellishments for this collection. I did buy a collection pack that came with everything. Um, that you see here apart from the 6x6 and the small icon stickers. Um, but everything else was included so it does mean I have a lot of embellishments to be able to play with. Um, for this layout so I grab this sticker here um, from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet and I pop that up on a little bit of foam because it's overlapping one of the um, the sunburst bits that are already on foam and then I'm going to commit to sticking my photos down so I'm happy with the placement of them I'm making sure that I'm not going to stick too close to the edges so if I do have anything to tuck um, I've left myself room to be able to do that so um, next up I am going to um, start working on my title so I have a lot of um, packs of thickers um, both the alpha ones and the phrase ones and I really am trying to get through 
um, as many of these as possible rather than um, buying new ones I want to use up what I've got already and I haven't bought any new ones in quite a long time because I have enough alphas and phrases to last me a lifetime so I'm trying to work my way through older packets and the, this uh, the packet this Paige Evans packet the one that I've got the word play from um, is years old um, and so it feels great because I actually use most of that sticker sheet on here and you'll see that I actually build up the title so originally I had the title as it is there as play all day um, but then I added the word long um, and these are little um, pink fresh studio I think these little alphas um, and it looked a bit it looked a bit lost and empty so I'm actually going to extend the title at the top to include this so happy um, and then I'm gonna actually going to make my title um, read so happy to play all day long uh, with you so I'm just going to put the alphas these little alphas are going to go straight onto the photo and you can see it a lot better um, in real life than what you can on here mm. so um, I get a little bit lost on the video there but you can see them and then that does mean then that I use up all of those words on that side of the sticker sheet which felt great um, and there's also some little icons on this sticker sheet as well so some hearts and some um, some X's and O's as well so I'm gonna just um, pop those onto the edges of some of those uh, sunburst pieces and there's still a few left but there is a limit on um, on <laughs> how much of this silver glitter stuff that I can add on so there are some saved for um, for next time and then I'm gonna work on my embellishment clusters so this is the ephemera pack which comes with it's, it's over 100 pieces you get a ton of bits um, in this ephemera pack so I'm not too scared to use lots and lots of pieces from this collection because there are plenty of more uh, plenty more to, to choose from so I'm building up these three three clusters so one to the right there where I'm adding in those flowers one at the top um, where I've already started with that X and O and then one to the left of the photos as well add in this little butterfly and just tuck that behind that little silver heart now this bow here, the word um, that I've used, that play word, because of the scripty font, um, to the eye it kind of looks like it says plays, um, and um, rather than <clears throat> rather than that annoying me, I just use the bow, um, and we'll stick the bow straight over the top of it, um, so it gets rid of that swirly bit at the end. Of course, I could could have cut it off. Um, that could have been another option as well. So now I'm going to go ahead and just stick all of these pieces down. So um, it looks like I've, I have got this on fast forward quite a bit, but um, actually it didn't take me too long just to go through um, and pick out pieces that I wanted to um, include. And obviously if you're working within one collection, then the hard work's done for you in terms of um, the choice of colours. Um, everything that you choose should just generally work together anyway. And then I'm going to have a look through... Um, just through this uh, the icon sticker sheet and pick out a few smaller bits that I want to include so just moving some of those colours around making sure that lime green that I've got in the left also um, is over on the right hand side as well and then just a few of these small little crosses um, from the sticker sheet also um, also in the collection were these jelly clips and they're just little paper clips with rubber flowers on um, I tried to put another second one on there but it just didn't need it and didn't work so I'm happy that I've managed to get one of those onto a layout at least and then finally from this sticker sheet and um, this is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet um, just that little tab and then a few little phrase stickers at the top and at the bottom and again just moving that lime green color around the page and then what I want to do is just come in with that white splatter um, and just add some more over the top um, covering my photo so I don't get any um, white ink on the faces in there and this uh, these photos are of my uh, my nieces who I know will probably be watching this video so if you are um, hello girls and I hope you like this um, this scrapbook layout that I made so the last thing I'm doing now is just adding some uh, tone on tone ink splatters and I am done. So if you have enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and there's a couple more videos linked on screen for you. And I'll see you all again next time. Bye.